you're like me and you actually really like blogging, but you also need to put stuff out on social media on a regular basis, or maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, then I'm going to tell you right now how to take that blog post and repurpose it across all the different platforms so it can do the work for you. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Givens. I'm a content marketer and brand copy strategist for small business owners, especially those of you who are online. And if you enjoy learning about copywriting, content marketing, mental health, and entrepreneurship, then this is a great place for you to be. So I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can constantly keep up to date on all the trends in this world. All right, today, to make this super easy for you to understand, I'm going to take you over to the world of the computer, and we're going to look at how to turn a blog post into all sorts of other types of content, whether it's in video format, audio format, or social posts. So let's head over there right now. First off, I just want to say that you're doing the right thing by starting with a blog. Now, you're not exactly doing the wrong thing by starting with a video or a podcast, but blogging really matters, right? There's a few reasons for that. Number one being that you own your blog. You don't necessarily own Facebook. Well, you don't own Facebook. You don't own Instagram. And they can take away your account whenever. Whereas your blog is a place for you. So your audience stays there. And it's also a great place to grow your email list. You can also own your audience. You're not relying on Facebook or Instagram to organize it for you. And you're at no risk of them disappearing overnight. So here's some other reasons that blogging matters. Businesses that blog experience twice as much email traffic as businesses that don't. Marketers who prioritize blogging are 13 times more likely to have a positive ROI on their efforts. Think about this idea, right? If we're trying to make our content work harder for us by repurposing, then this is exactly the kind of stat that we want to know. It's 13 times more likely to have a positive ROI on their efforts. Websites that also have a blog are shown to have 434 more index pages. So they have much more presence in Google results. And then finally, companies that blog get 97% more links to their website, showing that other people see them as an expert resource, and those backlinks also support their appearance on Google. Now, let's talk about repurposing blog posts into social media posts. So, option one, reread your, and this should say blog posts, <laughs> reread your blog post, highlighting any interesting quotes from it. Then, create an image with that quote. You can use an app like Quotes Creator. You could also use Canva, but basically you're creating a graphic out of that quote. And it's a graphic that you can then share on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook as if like it's the picture basically that goes up and you can add a caption that explains a little bit more, or you can just put the quote again in the caption. It can be very, very short because really it's that quote that stand out. And that kind of content performs really well on social, right? It gets shared a lot. So always, though, make sure that you link in your caption to your original blog post. So you can still get that web traffic, right? So you can actually get people to read the full blog post. And when they're on your website, see your offers, you know, see the option to get on your email list. There's lots of benefits to doing that. And just be aware, if you're on Instagram, of course, you're going to put the link in your bio. If you're on Facebook, you could put it in the post if you wanted to. You could also put it in the first comment on a place like LinkedIn. You know, whatever the best practice is there that you're aware of, then do that. But essentially just make sure it connects back to your blog post. You're basically sending traffic to the blog post if someone's impressed by the quote. All right, option two. Option two is really simple. Take any images that you have in your blog post and any of the captions you put under them and repost them <laughs> to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter as just individual posts, right? Unless the captions are very weird out of context, you can absolutely use those as the basis of your quotes, right? You, of course, want to link back to your original blog post. Option three, this is one of my favorites. I love to alter segments, meaning like a couple sentences or probably one to two paragraphs maximum of text from a blog post and use it as a LinkedIn post, an Instagram or Facebook post, and always link back to the blog. And you probably want to make it easier for yourself again and maybe post with a picture. So for example, if you didn't have captions to use in the last example, the second option, you could just take those pictures and use them as kind of the backdrop to your more tangible um, or more substantial caption, right? You could also find other stock photos or just use your business photography or something like that. But you just want it to be eye-catching so that they are then compelled to read 
the basically repurposed text that can stand alone in the caption. And so some really great examples would be, and let's head over to a blog post that I pulled up here. This is one that I wrote. Hi, <laughs> this is one that I wrote, the number one copywriting formula to know for your business. So one post that I put together was basically a shortened version of the AIDA breakdown. So it said it, a for attention, and I explained it in a very simplified way instead of this whole section. I really made it concise that I did I, I did D, and I did A. What you could also do is put a separate post together for each. You could do a, one post all about A, another post all about I, then D, then A, and then you still have the intro and the conclusion that you could work with, right? This is why it's one of my favorite ways. There's so many different ways that you could repurpose it, either by making certain areas more concise or this could really, really stand out well as its own little post, especially because it's visually break, broken down really, really well into sub points and bullet points. If you have a list, you could do that as well. Really, really, really good idea to alter any of your blog post and make it as broken down into many, many different posts on social. And option number four for transforming your blog post into a social post paste your whole blog article's text as a Facebook or LinkedIn post. Now, limit this to short blog articles. I don't usually write short enough, but if you're someone who writes like a 500 word blog article, you may be able to work with that. More so on a place like Facebook than LinkedIn. You'll have to pay attention to character counts. But what you could also do is turn it into a LinkedIn article. Now, for SEO purposes, you're going to want to basically put a line at the bottom saying originally published on and then put the URL in, but that should pretty much cover it. And then if your audience is very much on LinkedIn, especially if you don't get a ton of web traffic to begin with, it's probably worth the risk just in case um, that you don't get as much SEO credit as you should have. But you probably will simply by putting in that explanation or the original URL at the bottom. But you can always do a Google search and see if this changes from the time that this video that I'm creating for you was posted. All right, so that is how you can transform a blog post into social posts in many different ways. You can stretch a blog post even further. One really easy way is a newsletter. A blog post could be a whole newsletter, or it could be the beginning of the newsletter, and then you say, read more, and hyperlink that so it goes back to your website. If you post a weekly blog post, then a weekly newsletter based off that blog post could be a really good fit. Even if you just post a monthly blog post, if you have a monthly newsletter, or if you just pick once a month to make your newsletter, a little segment of the blog post, that's also a great fit. We've already talked about sharing on social media platforms, but another way that you can repurpose a blog post is using it as the script for a video, right? So a lot of my videos, not all of them, but a lot of them have a matching blog article. And a lot of the time I start with the blog article first, and then I kind of look down once in a while <laughs> and then crop that part out of the editing process. And you just see me talking about whatever the topic is, but actually I'm using the blog post as a guide and that works just as well for a video as it does for a podcast. You just have to be willing to do a little bit of editing, but overall we actually do so much less editing because I'm not just trying to speak out of the air. I actually have something guiding me, even if it's not a word for word script. And I feel like for me, it would be stilted anyway, if it were exactly word for word. So a blog post is a perfect guide. And then finally, you could definitely create an ebook based on the blog. I know people who have self-published larger books like memoirs and a blog post has formed the foundation of a whole chapter, right? Or it is the whole chapter. So, so many ways to take a blog post further than you may be at the moment, whether it's social, whether it's newsletters, video, podcasting, ebooks, freebies, make use of it, repurpose your blog post. All right, so as you can see, you can change a blog post and turn it into all sorts of other types of content. You can really create a content marketing plan that goes a long way. And if that resonates for you, if you're actively growing your business and looking to get content to do the hard work for you, then I would love to support you in doing that. I want you to know that I am doing VIP days where I'm just going to dedicate all of my time to you and your business. So if that's interesting to you, if you'd love to hop on a totally free chat with me to talk about content marketing and to see if a VIP day is a good fit, then you'll see a link to book a call in the description box below. And as long as there is space on that calendar, then there's an opportunity for us to chat about it. I would really, really love to see you there. 
All right, let me know in the comments below what type of content you're going to start with from a blog post. Are you going to go blog post the social caption? And I would say if you like writing, that's probably the easiest place to start. It's a lot less of a jump from written blog post to I'm staring at a camera. So let me know which direction you're going to go in though, because you might be very unique. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the little notification bell to actually make sure you get all the notifications, because just hitting subscribe isn't enough. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye!